I don't know if you guys have noticed this when I'm walking out to my driveway in previous vlogs, but I love jumping over this uh, gate here, this makeshift gate. I don't know why. It's just so satisfying to do that. Uh, but you know what I've been working on? I've been, when someone's following me and I do that, it's, it's a little rude to not like open the gate for them as well, especially if they're guests and they're like, what the heck? Your freaking gate latch is a stupid piece of plywood that's coming apart at the lambs. Uh, so I've been, I've been practicing, I've been practicing this. Damn it, I missed it. Oh, I missed it again and my freaking keys fell out. That's the first time my keys actually fell out. That was close. Yeah, like that. I don't know if it looks cool, but if it was in a movie, it would look cool. But anyway, I have a, I have a co-pilot today. He's not human though. It's Henry. He's, uh, he's my co-pilot today. doing good today uh, so last vlog I went to a stickman art show no wait was that last vlog I don't think so the vlog before that maybe whenever whenever I got this I can't remember because the last two vlogs are out of sequence today going to a Goddard uh, but first I gotta go to the car wash because I am filthy. Because do you guys remember, uh, remember when I was testing out the magnet for my keychain? Ooh, look at this trail right here. Oh, that's bumpy. When I got all this mud on there. <laughs> oh, no stress. That, that's okay. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know what happened exactly, but I lost, I lost my car wash card. So I had to buy another one. It's just a preloaded card. If you buy uh, the preloaded, you get like $30 worth of car wash for free. I usually keep it in here. I think you can tell that we're quite bumpy here. But I'm wondering that if like, when I was testing this, it just like flew out of here somewhere. Definitely bumpy. Oh, I hope I make it up here. But I was looking for it and I can't, I can't freaking find it. So hopefully when I clean the interior, I end up finding it because I have no idea where the heck it is.
I missed some. That happens sometimes, but I'm gonna be running late here, so at least I got the bulk of it. I'll get the rest next time. <laughs> so much mud, and a lot of it went down in there. I think we're good. How you doing? Good, did you get wet? I hope not. It's hot out today, so I didn't want to have the window up. Oh, we're good. We're good. He didn't get wet. Right, Henry? Perfect. It's like plus 27, so I didn't want him to have to deal with a hot car in this humid environment. He'd be uh, very uncomfortable. All right, next, I got to drop him off. And since there's a cop right here, you know, put the phone down. All right, how do I do this? Oh, is Ashley already here? She must be. And there's Duke and Buddy. If I let you out here, you're not gonna run after any dogs, are you? You're gonna be good? That's no answer. All right, should be good. You wanna see Duke? All right, come on. Go and see Duke. Oh, I worked like a charm. That's Buddy. There. That shaves some time off because, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be late because I was just stopped at a train. And before this, I got gas at the slowest pump ever. <laughs> I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. Correction, almost late. I am actually just about on time. But I don't actually know why I was stressing out because I'm just spectating this one. I'm not actually, I'm not actually doing anything for the gallery this time. Finally fixed this freaking escalator here. It's only been like a long time. I don't I don't remember how long it's been. But it's fixed now. Starts at four, goes till nine, and it's only three forty-six. Lots of time. Oh, and look who's here. Excuse me. Thank you. Why are you running away from me? Oh, so I'm still early enough to help. How come I didn't see you yesterday? I was there. Oh, I wasn't. <laughs> you got a sticker on this hat too. It's a different hat, but it's still got a sticker. Oh, but there's no sticker on these though. All right. I went all over the world and shit. I said, I'm going to wear my pants and everything. But I don't know. Okay. Yesterday was the first Goddard show at the other uh, location of Sterling Gallery. The yeah, at the London area location. I didn't go to that one because I... I was invited. <laughs> but uh, I would, they didn't ask me to do... A... Okay. I'm just trying to do something here, son. <laughs> His face. I'm not supposed to do that in public. <laughs> oh, look at him. You need uh, help with anything else? You got everything? Bill has some stuff. Okay, we'll keep it in there. I didn't get a chance to ask you. Anyway. Okay, so where is Bill? Black Ford pickup. Yeah. Oh, there's a Ford. 
Not the Jeep. There he is. That's him. We're supposed to come help you. Do you need help? Oh, well, they didn't really... Oh, because uh, Artie said, don't worry about it. We we're going to bring the trolley, and Artie said, don't worry about it. They got everything. Well, they had two and trolleys out here, and then they, they were going to leave. Yeah. They were going to meet me at the door there, and I got to the door, and they're both going in the building. <laughs> oh, okay. So you guys came wandering okay. out. I think we should wait for a trolley to be Well, unless you want to just drive to the door, then we can haul them in there. I can yeah. drive to the door. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Okay. I'll take them for a walk again. Cut your hair, you <laughs> You said, uh... What does your wife think of you? She thinks it looks good. But also, I don't care what she thinks. It's my hair. Imagine I told her to cut her hair. I then I'd be an asshole. As the truck says there... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he made it before us. Yeah, he sped over here. To meet these guys with a trolley. This is... Well, like I say, we were going to bring the trolley, and Artie said, don't worry about it, you don't need that. And you know how smart Artie is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? It's not too bad. You can get this uh, fruit and veggies. Yeah, well, that's up your dry. alley, the fruit. <laughs> okay. Much no, I got it. I got it. Oh, that's lighter. That's that's yeah, up your yeah, alley. Well, that's actually not bad. I get the box. You got the fruit. I'm going to wait for that the trolley, I think. What, I what else is there? Would you make an animal bar? If you can take the meat tray, I can carry all the ice. Oh, yeah. Easy. The fruit and the meat. Okay. There we go. And pizzas. I film everything. You never know what's going to happen. Like, if you drop that, perfect for the vlog. Oh! So, uh... Almost need a second table here. Bam. It's looking good. And uh, before I could even make this little clip here, there's already some pizza gone. Uh, the show is underway. Just doing some signing here. Decent uh, lineup so far. I imagine this is going to go on until like 11 p.m., even though the show ends at 9. Oh, you know I'm a dreamer, but my heart's of gold. I had a run away high, so I wouldn't come home, no. Just when things were right, doesn't mean that we're always wrong. Just take this song, and you never feel left all alone. Take me to your heart.
up, buddy? Hey. How are you? Good. So uh, this is something new that I'm doing, um, and I'm not sure. There's there's seven images total. I know that I think the only one that's here right now is the Batman piece. But I imagine if I was going to collaborate with another artist, who would I want to collaborate with? And I thought, well, of course, Da Vinci, right? So this is uh, this is uh, an imaginary sort of exploration. If Da Vinci and I got together and designed the next Batmobile, this is what it would look like. But um, there's some fun things in it. One is. Um, uh, I want it to look like an old manuscript, so uh, all the edges are sort of perforated. Um, each one's a little bit different, so like this one's got a picture of Batman uh, on it. Uh, the one yesterday, I think I put uh, Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn on it. It's got a whole bunch of things, so I start with uh, uh, this image that I created, and then uh, on top of that, I'll use colored pencil, I'll use some paints, um, I'll use gouache. I also, on every one of them, I put a little bit of 18 karat gold. And I'm going to just be doing these for uh, a little while. Um, but uh, all the, uh, another thing that I use a lot in my paintings is something called the golden ratio, which has to do with uh, a certain mathematical equation that kind of explains the universe. Anyway, um, uh, so the, uh, the image itself is exactly to the, the golden ratio or the Fibonacci sequence. And uh, it's also, if you look at your, uh, if you have an iPhone, it's the same shape of your iPhone, so I'm not the only one that knows about this supposedly most beautiful rectangle. But uh, I'll be doing these for uh, a little while. Uh, we ship two of them overnight just uh, because a lot of people have been asking about where to get them and how to get them. And uh, that's what I can tell you about that. Yeah? Okay. As far as what's on the wall, oh lordy, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so there's a, uh, a new piece that's called uh, Marbles. You, you might have seen with all the colored marble yeah, marbles yeah. in it. Really, really fun. And um, if you look on the bottom right corner of that painting, it's got a little question mark on it because every once in a while, we all kind of question our sanity, but it's like in blue uh, vodka. But a uh, very, very fun piece. Actually the same dimensions as the other one over there. And then uh, lots of new pieces. Um, a lot of times, uh, um, I'll, I'll miss some really good uh, some really good gigs because people think all I paint is just olives, which I do paint a lot of olives. But um, so I decided I would show you that I can paint other things as well. So this is a painting uh, I did in honor of my daughter, and uh, of course there's no violin there. She's playing on her hair, and uh, I hit her name right here. Uh, it says Paige in there. And no matter where you're standing right now, it looks like she's looking right at you. So that was a, kind of a fun little, yeah. fun little thing. And of course, we have uh, some. Uh, we have the olive hockey. That's kind of an older piece, but I heard the Canadians like uh, hockey. <laughs> uh, the fire y'all piece is a pretty new piece. Uh, that's my first uh, sexy hot pepper. But uh, she came out nicely. And uh, anyways, I know a lot of you guys have a, a lot of my art uh, already. So. Um, I know uh, all the stories, because <laughs> I'm me. <laughs> but uh, if you have any questions about those, I'd be happy to uh, share those with you. And uh, lots of fun. Queen Bee is another uh, new piece. Um, years ago, I toured with a guy named uh, Thomas McCain and, uh, for about three years. And uh, Thomas uh, used to put a number in his paintings. And I said, hey, what's the number for in your paintings? He said, if I put a number 11, that means that uh, I put my wife's first initial, N for Nanette, 11 times in the painting. And so I told him I absolutely love that idea, I'd like to steal it. So uh, if you uh, see an LG in a painting, that's my wife's name, Leanne Goddard, uh, you know that I got in trouble two weeks early and I'm trying to get points. So, you know, just use it for something different. The one next to that is a kind of a new piece too. Um, during COVID, we, we, uh, Leanne planted a bunch of roses and out popped up this one rose that was uh, uh, she called it fire and ice and said, you got to see this rose. It's half red and half white. She goes, I know, I picked the flower. Like, I know when it's growing. So, anyways. <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun because I could mix my red wine and white wine together. So, uh, lots of fun. Anyways, I really appreciate everybody showing up and uh, lots of fun things going on. Uh, we're uh, getting ready to uh, do some uh, work with a friend of mine that has a show called uh, Bar Rescue. And he's got a new John Tapper has a new bourbon announcer. So we're going to be doing some stuff with him. And then uh, in Las Vegas right now, we're uh, working on some walls for the uh, get ready for the Super Bowl. So that'll be a lot of fun as well. And then other than that, I'm just traveling and trying to uh, keep up with my wife and her boyfriend, Amazon. Uh, <laughs> he's at the house every day. 
Anyway, so, uh, but thank you all for coming. And uh, one thing I will tell you that's kind of cool about coming to a show is that uh, there might be uh, 500 or something in addition. Uh, the only time I ever get to sign a piece of artwork is at a show if you and me are on the same part of the planet at the exact same time. And so uh, for a lot of uh, the pieces that I'm signing today, it'll be the first, second, or third time that I've signed it. So this, this weekend, we might sell 500 pieces, uh, maybe worldwide, but just the only time that they ever get signed is when you get something from the gallery and they happen to be here that day. So it makes your paintings a little bit more special. And uh, yeah, and I've been practicing my signature. So. Yes, it's a true story. <laughs> And that's it. It's over. And somehow, this never happens, but the show ended when it's supposed to end. That's never happened. Ever. Every single show that I've ever gone to of his has gone on way beyond uh, the end. Uh, but uh, everyone worked hard to get everyone's stuff signed and pictures taken and all that, so. Good to go. Now he's just doing some fun little sketches for the staff, which is pretty cool. Doing a dog. And Shane is buying a hibiscus. It's a hibiscus with marijuana leaves in the, in the background. Isn't that clever? It's kind of punny. Wow, look at that, <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm totally, wow, I'm totally surprised, but he also did one for me. Very gracious of him, I gotta say thanks. I gotta interrupt you just one second. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, man, that's when you retire, right? You're yeah. back here chilling, having a drink, got a machine doing your shit. I really, really appreciate it. I was not <laughs> expecting this at all. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I mean, that's clever too. I like it a lot. Yeah? Are you gonna try to take my picture again? I'll take this one. What do you mean again? Last time you didn't know how to do it at the Napoleone show. Well, your camera was. No, it wasn't. Let's need it. Yeah. <laughs> when I retire, I'll, I'll have a hand, a robotic hand doing it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Perfect, thank you. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. Always. Thank you for the help. Sharon, I'm out. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go eat. I'll see you next Do you need help with anything else, or are you good? You can go downstairs. You're sure? Yeah. Are you gonna be here for hours? Okay. Are you gonna be here for a while? I can help you. Well, I'll help you then. It's just Mother's Day, and my mom's not here. Wait, is it Mother's Day today? Tomorrow. Oh, okay. Do you watch wrestling? Do you watch wrestling? And his name is John C. <laughs> oh, what the heck? This is all melted. Yeah, this is definitely not the Yeti. The Yeti is probably still freaking... Ice. Hmm? Watch out, my son. Oh no, that's melted too. Must have been opened a lot. No, I would. That was the cooler. I wasn't knocking. Sorry. You want here? Because you gotta hurry up and take your. Okay. Oh, and I almost freaking forgot this. Okay. So apparently Sharon wants to hang on to that sketch uh, and bring it to her frame shop to get, to get framed, which is uh, very generous of her. So thank you very much. She says it's a thank you for all of my help, uh, which is hilarious because I didn't, I didn't really help 
with anything. I, I didn't make a video this time. I actually still owe them last year's Goddard Show video. Uh, that's just around the time that I got sick, I think. So I just never got around to it. But there are three other videos on their channel that I helped them with. My favorite being the last one, last week's show with Stickman. I, I think I'm actually going to show it to them before uh, we take off because that one's one of my favorite. But anyway, if you guys are looking for some art, come check out... It doesn't actually say their name. Come check out Sterling Gallery for all your needs if you're local. Or even if you're not local because they ship worldwide. And it doesn't have to be my art. It can be anyone's art. It should be my art, but if you're looking for art in general, mine, Goddard's, uh, Stickman's, uh, Sean's, Shane's, or you can just check out their website. I have a, a link below in the in the description. You can check out their full catalog. They ship worldwide. Uh, so if you're looking for some art, you got a bare wall, uh, give them a ring. Um, but anyway, I just thought that was super cool of her to, uh, she actually asked Michael to draw that for me out of the blue, so thank you. As you guys may know, Goddard is one of my favorite artists, so getting an original, even if it's just the sketch, I definitely can't afford uh, a painting, an original painting. Uh, I'm, I'm stoked, I'm stoked to have it. Um, but anyway, I'm pretty sure that we're ready to go. Everything's packed up. I'm just gonna quickly show them uh, uh, the, the video that I made uh, last, uh, Oh, it's locked. <laughs> uh, the video that I made of last week's show. It's a good one. I, I, it's my favorite of the three that I've made. Because Stickman was a good sport. You should check it out. I'll have a link in the description. <laughs> I just wish the audio was better on these speakers. Lucky enough, I'm, I'm at a stage now where I, yeah. I get to say the same thing. I'm there, it's the man. Hey, hey. Oh. What's up, my man? Hey. And it's the most free feeling ever. That was a good show. She, she says to me after, how do you do this? It's a small show compared to what? The other shows are. Yeah. I believe that was a week ago. That feels like months ago. That was horrible to have that show and then this show. Yeah, too close. Too close. I gotta pull the uh, countdown off. Zero, Zero minutes. Off. Zero seconds. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta live your dreams and uh, the life you imagine. Obviously, when people come up to me and say, uh, "So what do you do?" I say, I "Paint olives." Do you have a car? Like, do you have? A, you need some money? Anyways, live your dreams. Thanks for watching. Peace out.